The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesamento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good to us. A little bit of personal business here today. Uh, they ha they were having a big uh, powwow over in some foreign country in Europe. It wasn't London, someplace else. And they were asking traders to come over and do some live trading with all the donations going to the folks in Morocco. And uh, I thought that would be a pretty good idea. So I suggested that I would be happy to fly over at my own expense and give a four-hour presentation. And they said, well, you only know AB equals CD, so I think we need to find someone that knows something a little bit better than that. And I said, you know what? I think you're absolutely correct. And I gave them a whole list of people that uh, do know a lot more than me. So I was uh, free from not having to go to Morocco. Uh, back when they had the big earthquake in Christchurch, in New Zealand, oh, 15, 16 years ago, me, no more than that, 20 years ago, uh, Larry Williams got together with some traders, and uh, we did this for one day, and we raised $76,000 in one day uh, for the folks there for food and water and things like that. So it doesn't bother me, folks, and honest to God, I, it, it actually was an honor for me. I told Tom Hugard, and he laughed, and he said, that's a, that's a badge of courage, and I said, yes, I know, because that's one thing I do know is AB equals CD. Not much more, but that's it. Anyway, I got this chart here of the crude oil. By the way, Jeff Huge was going to be our guest today, but he's got the flu. I'm going to hopefully gets a lot better. We'll have him on next week. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to hopefully have Grace Morris. I believe she's going to be back from uh, her trip to Paris. That wasn't Paris, Illinois. It's Paris, France. And then on Friday, we're going to have Jim Bart Leone of Bart's Charts. Okay, historically, we're going to look at this chart here of the crude oil. As you can see, it has a price objective up there of 89.74. The high today so far was 89.63. Very close for government work. We're now a buck and a half under that. Now, whether this is going to mean anything or not, but let me tell you the story about AB equals CD, folks. I've been doing this for a long time. It was January of 2011, okay, and there was going to be a war called Desert Storm. And Storman Norman Schwarzkopf, who was a big advocate of the art of war by Sun Tzu, where it says, attack at the dark of the moon so your soldiers cannot be seen. And so I said, well, guess what it is? It's the dark of the moon on that day, that Wednesday. And by golly, they said, you know, maybe that's what's going to be happening. My daughter, Jill, was working with me in the office. And uh, Bryce Gilmore was there for a time uh, during that time. And so I had three patterns that were just absolutely perfect. I had a beautiful buy pattern in stocks. Uh, we had a beautiful buy pattern, uh, excuse me, a sell, a sell pattern in gold. And uh, we also had a beautiful sell pattern in crude oil at $42 a barrel. I sold it at $42.06 that day, and I had a stop in at 43 And so um, the market closed. It closed down a little bit for my area. It made 30, 40 pips, so I had a little bit of a profit. And I went to get, I've told this many times, but it's one of my favorite stories. So I went to get my hair cut. And it was 4 o'clock uh, uh, our time, which was midnight, Baghdad. And I was uh, in the chair. And, of course, these, these were family friends that, that they ran this shop. And so Jill called. And she said, Dad, she said, do you, do you still have those positions on? And I said, yeah. She said, oh, Dad, she said, you're going to get killed. And I said, why? She said, turn on the TV. They're bombing Baghdad. So I turned it on. And uh, there it was. They were having this uh, tremendous, uh, you could see the infrared uh, green pictures of all the uh, rockets going off and everything. And I said, okay, I got my hair finished. I went home and went back to the office. I, and I, I started calling the overnight desk that it used to have at Drexel for uh, – for the you know what was what was happening in uh, gold and what was happening I couldn't get through and I kept trying and trying and trying and trying. Well, this was uh, during this was January the 11th and there was some 
people that were at Capricorns and in San Luis Obispo always made a big deal of having a party. So I had to go to this party. I get back about 11 o'clock at night. I was trying. We didn't have cell phones back then, folks. And I was trying to call all the way through. Finally, I get through at 1 o'clock in the morning. And I finally get through to the, to the guy, Richie. And I said, Richie, I said, what the heck is going on? He said, oh, God, Larry. He said, you won't believe it. And I said, oh, okay. I said, give me the bad news. I said, what, what, how much is crude oil up? He said, Larry, there's no bids on crude oil. I said, Richie, what are you talking about? He said, no. He said, we don't have any bids. $5 lower, $6 lower, $7 lower. Nobody wants to buy crude oil. I said, Richie, are you sure your data is working right? He said, I'm telling I said, well, what's gold doing? He said, gold's a limit down. I said, oh, my God. That morning, folks, the S&P left a gap that still has not been filled to this day. And uh, I don't know when it will be filled, but someday it probably will. But anyway, that happened to be a, a really big day. My problem was I covered the crude oil uh, on the opening down $11. That was $11,000 a contract. I was risking a grand. So to me, that was a big deal. All right. The following year in January, we were here with Mark Douglas, <laughs> and we were doing a seminar here in Tucson, and, go, and uh, crude oil was our trade of the day at $11 a barrel. And Mark and I uh, were, were laughing about it because he said, you know, look at that. All you had to do is wait. And I said, yeah, well, that's waiting and waiting is something that I don't do too well. But anyway, that's why when I look at these charts and I hear people talk about that, I think it's great. And I think everybody should have their own opinions. But, folks, I do one thing, and it's A, B equals C, D. I don't do it as well as I could probably, but I do it a lot better than I might. So that's all I try to do. You know, I'm just 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 looking at that, and that's all I'm really doing. I had a few little 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 patterns that I've learned along the way that work really good. The one three fives, the Gartley's butterflies, the three drive to a top, three drive to a bottom, but they all have one common thing, folks: A B equals C D, and that's all I need to know. And when I have that in my my quiver, I'm an okay as an archer. But by golly, I'll tell you, it's uh. It's, it's, it's a fun business to be in, but by golly, you know, sometimes you get wrapped up in some of this stuff. I'm not trying to demean what the lady had to say today. I, I think it's great that she has an opinion. All I have is a chart. I don't know anything about the, the Arabs uh, finding uh, uh, that they were short 3 million bushels, uh, three, 3 million barrels of, uh, of oil. No, I don't know that. But I do know what ABCD is, and I know when it goes past ABCD, I got a problem. And that's what I try not to have to do is to have a problem. And so that's what I'm trying to do as I do this each day and to bring you this information to give you the best of what I have. But it's basically down to one thing, you know, A, B equals C, D. And if I found something better, I'd certainly share it to you. But the closest thing I found something as good is 382. And since we're on to that subject, I just want to come over. We'll come over here uh, quickly and I want to bring this up and I want to bring this this one here, hold on just a second here. I want to bring this chart up. You'll be able to see it right here. And there you'll see it right now. And I believe we have that going in the uh, den. I think it's uh, hopefully this is going to be showing the uh, crude oil chart. Uh, let's try that again. This should be showing the, uh, the treasury bonds and treasury notes. Thank you, Jacob. God bless you, my son. I've got it. Eureka! As Archimedes would say, Eureka, I've done found a code. We're going to be right back, folks. 877 927 6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Call, call now. Toll free at 1 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. I don't know how it's happened, folks, but a caller has gotten through with all those lights. I can't believe it. Mike, how are you doing, my friend? Uh, hi, thanks for taking my call. You know, I've heard that story about, I think it's January the 15th, 1990, uh, where you have the massive rally in the S&P. Um, I want to go, I want to turn the clock back to August of 1990. Did you see the bottom in oil? Did you, did you see the rapid movement? In the in in the price of oil before Saddam Hussein uh, elected to invade Kuwait. Well, well, I don't remember that. All I know is it was going up into that time frame, into uh, yeah. uh, 2011, and I I, I don't remember. No, 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 exactly. no, it's 1990. 1990. He he invaded right after the World Cup was over. Oh, that was August of ninety. August of ninety. Yes. Of August. And yes. after the Argentina and Italy, after the game was over, he actually, apparently Hussein was actually with a big soccer fan. He was watching the game. After the game was over, then he he he, he called the invasion. You see, uh -huh. so he waited until the uh, to the the World Cup final was completed, and then he called the uh, invasion. But did you see the movement in the oil stock or in the crude oil itself prior to? I I don't remember, Mike. I'd have to pull that chart up a little bit later. I, what I'll do is after we come to the first break, I will pull up that chart and uh, from 1990. I can go back that far, and I can see whether there was a pattern there that uh, yeah, which yeah, I can't happened. remember back that far. Uh, that's 30, uh, what, 33 oh. years ago, and so that's beyond my uh, realm. I only go 31 years from memory. Hey, Mike, yeah, you know, had the, Pol like, the I, I Polish. I was uh, then back then, eh? and you know, uh, uh -huh. Bill Griffin was on with the uh, the guy from. Uh, from Los Angeles, he's, he's, he's dead now. Ron, forget, Ron uh, Insano, Bill Griffith, done, Sue Herrera, yeah, move, that's my old right? buddies. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it's... Yeah. Yeah. The Toronto Sun, 
Yeah, I I noticed that they uh, banner banner third quarter. I mean, I mean, actually, it was a banner year for the TSX. It's, it's, it's oil rich stocks, you see. Yeah, well, I'm trying to figure out. Did you did you see the movement there? Where the, where the charts showing a bottom in crude oil? I'm going to be looking at it, and when we come up to the break, I can't look right now no. because if I do, I'm going to screw up the chart that I've got in there now, and that's the one I want to get to. But when we come to the break, which will yeah. be here in six minutes, I will get it ready, and I have time for the next segment because I've got the whole half hour, and we'll we'll discuss that and see if we see something yeah. from August of 1990. Well, you know, you know I, I, I wanted to change the topic to Forex, and I want to talk a look at the Canadian dollar. Um, yes. Our, our famous Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, had a disastrous trip to India. Mm -hmm. His plane died. His plane actually failed on the runway, and they had to bring in another <laughs> jet. And he was <laughs> snubbed again by the Prime Minister of India. Uh, yeah. He's called an emergency meeting with his cabinet back in Ottawa. I think it's the swan song. I think he's going to yeah. wrap it up. He's yeah. lost his wife. He's lost his family. His wife has filed divorce papers on him. His, his his ratings, his, his popularity ratings are like under 20% right now. And uh, I think he's having a cabinet meeting very soon. He's just going to call it quits and just shuffle off to some remote island or somewhere and let somebody else mop up the mess. It probably now, runs I want to look at the Canadian dollar. I will. I'll Given be looking at situation. happy. Uh, let's let's. Uh, uh, I hope I can do this without uh, messing everything up. So just bear with me here one second, and I will bring up a Canadian dollar chart. Hold on one second here. This takes me a second to get this up. I'm hoping anyway, and that comes in right about here. Geez, yeah, because if Trudeau does step down, I think there'll be a mm -hmm. rally in the TSX. Mm -hmm. There may well, be a, maybe the, a snap back rally in in the Toronto yeah. Stock Exchange. As you can see here, the, uh, the, the the Canadian dollar has been incredibly weak here over the past uh, since July, but uh, right now it's backed off a little bit. Now I don't know if that'll make much of a difference or not, but the fact that we stopped, you can see here, we stopped right up here at the 78% level four days ago, up there at that 137 level, and then we've yeah. come down quite a bit. So. If we can get that above 137 one more time, that would be a beautiful three yeah. drive to a bottom pattern, three drive to a top pattern, and that would be a, certainly be a sale. But I don't see any other ABCDs on this chart at all, other than the one that yeah. made the bottom back on July the uh, 17th. That's all I see with that. Yeah. How yeah. about the Polish Slotty? I don't. In, in the, the general Polish markets, Lottie, in the S and P and Nasdaq, do you see a, at least at least a 10 percent correction between now and, and uh, New Year's? <laughs> yes, the, the answer to that is is uh, most possibly yes or no. I I, I think there is, huh. but you know you got to follow what the charts say. I mean they've been up here for quite a while and not backed yeah. off much, so we're going to find out whether they can hold it or not. Or we're going to so know here in the next the few charts? days. Did you see distribution? Yes, I do. I do see a lot of well, you see it in Apple, you see it in a lot of other things, but yes, I do see that. But the market's not responding very much to the downside. As soon as it goes down, it rallies 30 points. So you've got to be very careful as far as risk is concerned. So who's buying That's, the retail? Mike, you think they're going to tell me who's buying? Nobody's. Who knows? It could be anybody. It could be you or me. It could be nobody. I don't know. I don't. I don't care who the buyer. The buyers and the sellers are the same little fellers. That's all you got to know because um, you don't need to know. That could be a mutual fund, could be a hedge fund, it could be a bank. You don't know, and it could be a combination of millions of things. Just look at the chart. That's all you got to do. Yeah. Whether you want to be a buyer or seller at that point. Maybe in a future episode, you could discuss the events leading up to the August Fourth, nineteen ninety invasion by Iraq <laughs> of, of Kuwait. If you could look at the chart, I'm going to do oil. that. And if Mike, you could look I, at the the oil index, look at maybe the Philadelphia oil no, index, no, no, or the no, NYC no, oil no. index. No, Look at no. the the intermediates and the senior producers like Exxon no. and and Chevron. Were they moving Mike. up in anticipation Mike. of an invasion? Mike. That's over my pay grade. I'll look at crude oil. That's all I need to know. That other stuff is cannon fodder as far as I'm concerned. I really am. I don't really care. So I'm, I'll look at crude oil for you when we come back from the break. I'm going to do a, a uh, I'm going to go and look at a weekly chart or monthly. That'll be a monthly because I got to go back so far, and we'll see if there's anything there that uh, 
that is there. And if not, I'll make it up. No, you'll be able to see it on the chart because you know enough about the charts as well as I do as whether it'll work or not. But when we come back from the break, I'm going to go over to 1990 if the charts will give me this data, and I'm almost sure they will. We're going to see where we were in August of 1990. I remember that very vividly, uh, August of 1990, but for the reason I don't remember. But uh, I have a lot of birthdays in August. Maybe that was the reason. But uh, I will bring that up when we come back from the break, and that will uh, hope you're going to stay with us, right? Hey, Paul, Mike, what are they doing with the Polish lottie now? Do I understand it got devalued or something? Looks like we lost Mike. He must have got angry with me because I didn't have all the answers that he wanted. Okay, let's move on here for just a second here. we got to take a break here in just about uh, – hold on. I'm trying to get the crude oil up so that I can bring the crude oil along with the uh, – and go back and month to see where we are. Let's see how much time we've got here. Uh, we've only got 45 seconds, so I'll – I'll just talk to you for a second. When we come back, I'm going to go back to 1990 in August, and I'm going to see uh, – I know there was something big happened in 1990 in August, but I'm going to try to find out what that is. And we'll be back here after we pay a few bills. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I, po I posted the chart here, <clears throat> the chart from uh, 1990. August of 1990. Boy, my my mind must be slipping. If that's that's when Desert Storm was. It wasn't January. It was here. Is the January one uh, right here? Uh, it was the low, and when when uh, when the uh, oil hit eleven dollars a barrel, right there. That was January of '99. This was Desert Storm. You can see uh, crude oil there at 42 bucks uh, a barrel. It went from 42 all the way down to 10 and 10 all the way up to 150 does anybody we're going to have a little test now we well let's say we're trading at 130 and this is 2008 does anybody know the name of the firm hold on one second folks i've got to i've got to change an order here it'll only get it's only going to be a second and uh oh, shucks let me give you one second here to do this and then i'll i'll be right with you here I'll leave it in for a little bit. Okay. Anyway, this is what we're we're paying attention to now. Is this is the area right here, right there? You see this when uh, oil was 130. There was a special report by none other than starts with the G. It's the first letter in the company, and the S is the second. I'm not going to name the company because I don't want them to be angry with me. But that's where we were. Now, what we're going to do now, since people like ABCD, all we're going to do now is we're going to go and see where the ABCD comes in. So their A is right there, okay, down there at $11. Okay, so we put that as the marker in. And then you put your BC swing up in there. And that was at 121. When they came out at 121, they said it was going to go to $200 a barrel. And folks... Uh, two weeks later, it went from 150. In the next uh, seven months, it went from 150 to 30. Now, as you look at this right here, you can see the A, B, C, D swing right here. Let's just check and see how this is. This is monthly chart, folks. You know, I don't trade monthlies very often, but let's just see. There's A, B, and there's C, D. Oh, my goodness. Maybe it's not as bad as people think it is. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to uh, right now. So that's uh, that's neither here nor there. So let's uh, pay close attention to this. Now I've got to do something here because I've got a uh, I've got a rather hold on. Let me let's get this up here. I think it's a 15, uh, 13 minute. What is it? Yeah, 13 minute. Yeah, we're getting really close to the since we're doing ABCDs and we're looking at these right now, and we're looking at these right now. You're going to hear a beep here pretty soon. It's going to be me screaming. There's your AB leg right here, and there's your CD leg coming in right about here. So we're very, very close to what we think will be a, an ABCD move. Now, that's what I'm looking at here as I'm watching some of these things here. Okay, let's move on here to one other thing that I want to do. And um, I want to get to the uh, – ah, shucks – Oh, dear. Oh, well, you know what I've got to do here. Hold on a second. I've got to do something really quick. And I've got to, this is business, folks. So bear with me on this one. All right. I've got to come up here to Discord and I've got to come in here and I've got to change the window here because I don't want to uh, show a live chart here to get all messed up. OK, so bear with me here uh, for just a second. And I'll be is the uh, chart still showing now? I can't tell whether it is or not. Uh, I did hit stop streaming. Okay, so it's not showing correctly. Uh, all right, let me come up here, share screen, uh, stop screaming. How about now? Okay, I need to do something quickly, and then uh, then we'll be in fine. Okay, that's good. So give me one second here, and I'll be all done, and we'll be we'll be fine. So bear with me here, uh, one second here, and uh, ah boy, oh boy, hold on just a second. I gotta cancel this. Oh, man, alive. Okay, now give me one other second to do this. And I'm almost there right now. And I want to sell one at the market. Okay. 
Uh-oh, don't want to do that. Nope. Boy, boy, folks, when I do this, I got to be really careful because I just about messed up pretty badly here. So just give me a second. And what I'm doing is I'm covering a short position here from uh, the uh, – uh, shoot, just give me a second. Pardon the, the delay here, folks, but I want to make sure that I get this thing correct because I don't want to uh, have an error in something. So I have to change. I have to change the uh, positioning on these things as I go through and look at them. OK. OK. Now color me happy. We're all right. OK. So we're in good shape. Sorry. OK. Back to the back to the business here of uh, trying to go through some of this stuff. All right. Uh, so that, I hope Mike was listening, but Desert Storm, let's put that monthly back up there so they'll be able to see it easy enough. And all the ABCDs that were there, if you don't believe in ABCDs on this chart, you'll never believe them on any chart. That would be my, that would be my guess. So we're going to come up here and we're going to hit the share screen. And hopefully this will be it right here. And there it is. There's the screen. You can see there was Desert Storm. It was August. I'm sorry. It was August the 15th, I believe. Yeah, August the 15th of that year when crude hit uh, just right at $42 a barrel, dropped 11 into 99, then the big ABCD up. And, folks, when you see that ABCD right here, the re this is a 382 retracement here, by the way. It, when you see a market that's screaming like that, that comes out of point C, I know I know a lot about ABCD, so that's one of the things I do know. When it comes out of here like a rocket, just like it did here, okay? When it comes out of that point C really fast, you can bet your um, – uh, see, bet the, the apple you're going to give your teacher that it's going to be an expansion. In other words, AB is not going to equal C. CD is not going to equal AB. It's going to be a uh, either 127 or 1.618 of that number. Now, let me show you what I do when I see that happening. Maybe this will help. We'll uh, I'll get this up here so we can take a quick look at it. So I'm just going to take this one right here, and I'm going to change. I'm going to change the CD leg to 1.27. You see where I changed it right there, and then we're going to see how close it comes to the high. And the high was 140.82. And uh, we hit 147. So the CD leg is 1.27 of the AB leg. Now, coming down here, you see you don't have that same thing because it's coming down very normally. You see you've got the A, B, C, D. Look, you come right up. There's your 70% retracement. There's your number to the downside. And so that's what we're, that's what we're looking at as we're watching these things unfold here. So I, I hope that... Uh, I hope that gives you some in inclination that that's what we're that's what we're watching when we're we're looking at these things here today. So, uh, boy, I think I've got a break coming up already. I think, don't we? No, we got 43 minutes to do that, and then we'll cover. And if you have any questions, 877-927-6648. Uh, sorry for the delay, folks, but uh, that's something that I had to. Uh, had to get done and I wanted to make sure that everything was uh, fine with so we're going to be right back 877-927-6648 stay with us we'll be right back folks You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. <clears throat> okay, folks, I pulled up a weekly chart here of the Canadian dollar going back uh, two years. You can see the uh, up here in the left hand. You can see the big ABCD measured to 139.63. Uh, that pretty much hit it. And then you can see the ABCDs all the way through here. So uh, this is what's been happening now. Now there's a chance here that if maybe uh, Trudeau does give up the ship, which I doubt very seriously that he will. That's all rumor stuff that I can't bank on. But that's what we're watching here on the weekly. Now if we go down to a daily chart, we're going to go to a daily. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to an hourly chart to see if we can find something. And here's where we are right now. This is, if you're looking at this from the last, from September 1st, all we've done is we come down and we stop pretty much right at the old 786. Now, this doesn't mean a whole lot, but we did stop right here, okay? Now, this means the dollar should start to increase against the Canadian one more time. So if uh, maybe Mr. Trudeau gives up the ship, away it goes. And if he doesn't, maybe it'll go. But here is the here's the small three drive on the hourly. Now, this took four days to complete. So there's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg coming in right here. All right, that's the bottom that we just made. Now we're going to find out whether this 78% level is going to hold. I don't trade the uh, Canadian dollar very often. I trade the euro. And the euro is telling us that we are getting ready to probably make, hold on one second here. We want to get up here to see it. Where is it? Right here, Mr. Euro. I know you're here. Here's where we are. Okay, now that's given us a pretty good idea. We had a lot of volatility because of the CPI number, but we felt that we had a chance in here because we recommended buying uh, at the 61% retracement. Uh, it went a little bit below it by about 20 pips. The stop was down in here. So far, it's starting to work okay, but this is when the report came out, and the fact that we've been here now since September the 7th. We've been here six days, and something is interesting about this chart, folks. If you want to determine what the trend is, you want to look for, guess what? Higher bottoms. And what do we have here? We have higher bottoms. And what is on the other side is we're having some higher tops, aren't we? Just but Not much, but just a little. You see, we're starting to see the trend change. Higher top here, higher top here, higher bottom here, higher bottom here. This tells us that we're most probably going to go higher. I was in a meeting once, oh my God, 25 years ago with John Murphy, and there was a heckler, 
out in the uh, off in the room, and uh, I tried to shut him up. And John said to me, he says, Larry, he says, let me take care of this. So I just shut up. And John said to him, the question was about trend. And John said, it doesn't make any difference what the trend is. The trend is if you have higher bottoms and higher tops, you're in an uptrend. If you have lower tops and lower bottoms, you're in a downtrend. And the guy just kept heckling him. And finally, he said, you don't even trade. And of course, John does trade. He had his own uh, fund that he traded, and it was doing incredibly well. So he just shared it right up on the screen, you know, what he was doing at the time. And the guy just finally wouldn't shut up. And then finally, somebody in the audience made a comment that, that uh, evidently hit spot on because the guy picked up his toys and, and he left. But uh, whenever you have a heckler, and I've had, oh, that's not somebody at the door. That's just knock on wood, that I've had very few. Uh, hecklers, a couple, but not too many. But uh, I remember speaking with Larry Williams about this many times, is you can't please them no matter what you do. The greatest uh, uh, avenue for total failure in your life is try to please everybody. And gee, you just can't, you can't really do that. So let's get back here to the euro and see where we are. Now remember on the long-term picture on the euro, look at that daily, you know, we were down here with this ABCD. You see, we made that, but look at this. We've been down here. There's, the, there's those higher bottoms coming in right now. See, it's much different than here. See, we had the rally. This was much big, much bigger rally than this one was, right? But it's still got a chance in here because we've got these higher bottoms. And that means accumulation, just like over here. So that's what we're that's what we're which, which we're looking for. Now what we'll do now is we'll go down to a smaller time frame and see if we can see the next little A B C D pattern, which we should be able to find. There is the uh, uh, you know what we're doing here is uh, I'll get rid of all these others right here, so we'll be able to see it without any trouble at all. We're going to do the we'll do them one at a time just to show you that yeah maybe they do work some other time. There's that one right there. And then we have another one that's coming in right up there. We just hit that one. And now we're going to have another one coming up in here, up and uh, right about there. So there's your ABCD. No mystery, just history. It's all we're looking at. Now, if you go back and look at it, where were you in here? Look at this. Now, this is, this is a little bit more than the ABCD here, folks. I hate to give all these secrets away, but this is all stuff that's never been shown before, folks. I've never shown this to anyone. But look at this. You have a, this is called one. That could be called a bottom, right, Johnny? Yeah, Johnny says yes. And we go up and this could be called a what, Johnny? A top. And then we come down and there's another bottom right here and another top right there. And look at this. We have another one. And look where it stops exactly at 1.618 right there. Now, isn't that amazing? Wow. I'm going to have to put this in a book or something. There it is, right there on the money. And go, that's where we're headed to, folks. So get your trading shoes on because we got some action coming in. The the euro looking at these charts as we're paying close attention to them here uh, today. Okay? So anyway, I hope that helps and we'll be able to see what's going on. Let's see how low that, uh, where is that crude oil at that we were, let's, let me change these screens here. <laughs> I didn't realize I could do this. Uh, so you're going to have me here a little bit longer. Davidical. I need to get up here to where I want to see if that crude oil made the uh, 21. Just a second here, 13 minute, and I'll get down here. Now, see, I'm looking for it to get down to uh, get down to this level right here. Now we couldn't get there. Now the reason the reason why, folks, I had an order setting here at 18 uh, 88 uh, 21. Okay, and here it is 88 31. That's a hundred dollars now. I, I, do I want to give that up, that $100 after that lows right there? So I covered it at 33, and it's at 56 right now. I, it, it was a day trade. It made a lot. It made really good return. That's all I asked for, you know. And so I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel or anything like that. That's all I'm really trying to do. Now something is interesting is happening now for the first time in a long time, and that is, you'll notice here that we are finally moving above the 382 now. In the Treasury bonds, not unusual because look at this movement that we had here, folks. There's your A, B, C, D right at the old bottom. If you like A, B, C, Ds, tried to buy that down there and I missed it by a heartbeat. As you can see here, my order was right there and it didn't get there and boom, away it went. I missed it. But now you see with the first time we're above the 382 of this move right here. This is telling me that this market is getting ready to go higher. Okay. 
Now, I sold 21s, and I got out at 24. It's now trading at 25. That's that's what I do is, you know, if it gets above it by much, I have to say these things are so doggone accurate that you've got to, you know, prepare yourself for, you know, not taking much of a risk. And that's it. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. And, boy, this time goes really fast when you're moving your lips as long as mine have been moving here. So let's check and see how we're doing with the old uh, time on the wall, how much time we got here. Oh, we're running out of time, so we'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I've got the natural gas uh, chart up here. And as you can see, we're looking for natural gas to come down here to 229. You notice that's another ABCD pattern that's here. Uh, we've had a rally up. We stopped right at the 78% level uh, two days in a row, right there at 278. We're now at 265. All we needed to do is to get down to here. That will be a really nice trade if you get to that level because you're going to have an ABCD here. You're going to have another. Uh, let's just draw it in since we're doing it with kicks and giggles. We'll do, oh, it's a darn thing. I've got to draw it in with the pencil. Hold on. 
That way I can make sure that I see it. There's your AB leg. There's your CD leg. It's going to bring you down into this level uh, right here. Now, we want to check this because if that's the 61% retracement off of this, uh-oh, it's going to be close. No, we got it. We're going to go for this right here. We're going to be looking between 235 and 230 is what we're going to be looking at here uh, for the crude oil, uh, natural gas. And the reasoning for that is if you get rid of some of this stuff you, and get rid of that one, all you have to do is to draw your expansion number from your high, low to your high, and there you're coming in. There's your 230 number. That's what you want to be shooting for. And when you get to that point, you will have a really nice ABCD lining it up just spot on at oh, 1.618. And there's what you'd be looking for right there. Looking at this on a shorter term time frame, uh, we had a pretty big move today. We'll see how close it came to the uh, – I haven't looked at this in a long time, folks. I've been busy doing other things. Too many cats in the house. Hold on. You can see it went right up to the 78% level um, uh, yesterday and then almost hit it again today. And then we've had a pretty good move down. This is what I think we're heading for is an ABCD. So that's pretty much it. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless and try to do something nice for your neighbors, folks. Everybody needs help. So may God bless. Thank you.